Pitiful heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. There are nice guys and not so nice guys in the organization. But everyone's working together to complete Kingdom Hearts. There's lots I don't know, but I do know I have to keep fighting the darkness. So I can be whole. Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories Riku Story or Reverse Rebirth Mode, whatever. In the last episode, we defeated Vexen. Not only did we defeat Vexen, but we also defeated Parasite Cage over in Monstro, which was pretty darn sweet. In this episode, we are going to go to Neverland. Vexen was apparently collecting data on us. Now, he also said that he's not really with Ansem. That's only half true, and that Ansem's not really Ansem, but Ansem is Ansem, and nobody would be more the correct term. It's very interesting. But what does it mean? Hello, Neverland. Oh, gosh, how I love Neverland. Now, it is worth mentioning that if you were playing along, you could have done these episodes, or these worlds, in any order. Any order that you so choose. So, before we get too involved in fighting things and leveling up, let me show you this world's card. Changes the values of all cards to zero. Uh, I don't really recommend using that in this world. Just saying. Don't really recommend it. Don't do it. No point. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Alright, so we did level up. But I don't actually totally recommend using this area to level up. I don't really think it's worth it, to be to be totally honest with you. We're going to increase to two. Now, the enemies here do give a ton of experience, but again, if we look at our deck, it's just not very good. Our first combo, 753, and then a 200, uh, enemies can easily break our cards. Which is why you're going to be needing to use your Genie Jafar card pretty much as much as you can in this world. And we've completed our first room in Neverland, which means that we can go ahead and use this door. We are going to use just a Tranquil Darkness level 1, uh, value 1, just to open the door, get going. Uh, there is going to be a lot of things that I'm going to skip in this world. I'm not really going to try fighting a lot of things. I'm going to fight some, but again, it's just not worth it. Okay, and in the final the final battle of this room, or maybe the first one, I don't even know, uh, we leveled up to level 19, so we're going to put our health in there. It was the final battle. Okay, so we have two different choices of rooms to go to, so we obviously want to head into this one so that we can get a little bit closer, a little bit closer to the end boss of Neverland. I wonder who that could be. It's Captain Hook. Spoiler. All right, so let's just mosey on quietly around them. Okay, and we can just go over here, use the story door. We need a blue card. So let's go ahead and use a mingling. Let's use a level nine mingling worlds, and we will go ahead and use our key to beginnings, which will allow us to enter this very new room. And of course, a boss fight. Be prepared, this is going to be pretty challenging, especially with our deck, because we are against the one and only Captain Hook, like I just said. Although I do believe, I do believe, that we will be able to defeat him no problemo, as long as I am, uh, you know, not awful. Now, I'm obviously going to switch to uh, my Genie Jafar card here, and then we'll just kind of lay into him as well as we can. Now, he can't break us, even though he used a slate because of that Genie Jafar card. I'm going to go ahead and use our Holy Burst here. We'll be able to hit him a couple times, which is pretty good. Now, I'm also hoping, if I'm lucky, that we will be able to hit... Um, there we go. And we will hit darkness. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with dark break. So, unfortunately, he was... Oh, oh, if I would have done that with a duel, that would have been great. But, unfortunately, I suck and we were unable to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and actually switch to our Maleficent card here. Uh, just to kind of... Okay, there we go. Now, unfortunately, we did, of course, leave 
uh, dark mode, but now we're back into it. So we'll go ahead, hit him with that, and then we will go ahead and... Ooh, we missed with that dark break. A duel. Here we go. Can we can we break him with a duel? Oh, no. Yes! And we will hit him with a dark maelstrom, which is going to be enough to destroy Hook. Oh, that dark mode is just so good, man. We needed that, too, because we were, we were very close to dying. I did play that pretty bad. I could have card broke him at times that we didn't, and we didn't get a level up. Amazing. But we did get the Captain Hook boss card. I'm actually very surprised that that went as poorly as it did. Uh, I didn't break him when I should have, and that was my bad. Uh, I, I, I just started spamming him, to be honest with you, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that, man. I shouldn't have done that. I need, I need help. Let me, let me hit this. Thank you. All right, so I tried to get a couple more levels, or at least a couple more battles under my belt uh, after that battle, but that didn't really work that well, so I'm not going to do that because I am very, very low on health. Now, I do want to show you real quick what Hook's card is. Uh, it retains one HP after a critical hit, provided you have two or more HP left. Uh, I actually don't really think his card is that useful, uh, so we won't, of course, be using it. Now, right down here, we can hopefully do this without getting into a battle. Uh, actually, I do want to turn around and hit this, uh, because that will actually give us some much much needed health. There we go. Now we can stop listening to that go off and we can use a two card here. We're going to yet again use our uh, Tranquil Darkness, which is just like your basic, your basic map card. So we were able to take down the one and only Captain Hook. Now if we continue on, we actually want to use uh, the door that's above us, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, mm, let me see if I can actually get some health though, because that would be nice. All right, let's go ahead and use this door. We need a three or higher. Uh, we have a Feeble Darkness level 3. Let's go ahead and use it. And, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh. Alright, I just need, I just need some health balls. That's all I need. <laughs> Alright, so we have one more door that we can use, and I believe the door we want to use, if we look at our map, is we actually want to use, is it? It shouldn't be that one. It should be this one. This is the one we want to use. So we'll go ahead and use a level 4 or higher. We will go ahead and use... Ooh, I don't know if I want to... We'll use Teeming Darkness, just because we have so many of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't really want to fight anything, though. All right, well, I guess that fight wasn't totally useless because we did, in fact, level up, and when we hit level 20, we will get access to another attack bonus, which is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I'm just gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna clear this room. So, let's continue to Conqueror's Respite, the very end of Neverland. That was a really, really short world. A really short episode, too. Um... I, I don't know if we should continue further. I think it'd be, be pretty cool to save uh, everything per world, but be sure to use the save point because you're going to uh, potentially need it. And now, let's continue on and see what the organization is up to. Well, I mean, I guess we could do that, you know, after we leave this random empty floor. Why do they do this? What's happening to Sora? Namine's powers are being used to shuffle his memories as we speak. Marluxia may well succeed in getting his puppet. Sora would be a valuable asset to the organization. But Marluxia and Laxine's actions, they... leave me quite uneasy. And then there is Axel. Who knows what that one is thinking? Vexen should take care of this. His replica is soon to be completed. But Vexen despises Marluxia. Think of the mess it would make. So we must tell him. Isn't it better that Vexen clean up the mess than leave it to us? So it would appear that Axel is acting independently, or who knows what he's doing, but Larxene and Marluxia seem to be up to no good. Well, we knew that from Sora's story. We did indeed. 
And in the next episode, we will proceed to the final world that we actually have available to us, which is none other than Traverse Town. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. You really should be. You deserve to be. And right now appearing on screen is the playlist for Chain of Memories, so you can go and relive all of Sora's memories. Or there is a video specifically designed for YouTube for you to watch. YouTube chose that. Watch it! And if you want to support the channel monetarily, I, I highly recommend checking out the Patreon by clicking the Patreon button and going and seeing what that's all about. Get rewarded for watching. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, never give up. Never surrender to the darkness.